Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So what I'm covering for you guys today is the Haunted Forest in Destiny 2. And we're just going to go through it real quick, see what it's all about, see how much candy you get, the difficulty, and all that. So right when you head in, you're going to have two other people with you. There's only a maximum of three people. So it could be you, two friends, or two random people that it will pair you up with. Right away, you're going to spawn in the infinite forest. And from the infinite forest, you're going to want to go to this portal where you, all three of you are going to have to stand at the same time. And it's going to teleport you to the haunted forest. Now, if you look at the top left, there's a timer. Now, that timer is very important. Once that timer goes all the way down to zero, it doesn't stop like I thought it would at the beginning. It doesn't stop the whole thing. You just can't respawn anymore. So... It's not as bad as I originally thought, but you want to keep that timer in mind because once you all die and that timer is out, then you can't respawn and the whole thing's over. Now, once you complete your objective, which is 100% kills, or it will just have a percentage to your top left and you want to get 100%, it will teleport you to the boss battle. No matter where you are, what you're doing, it will teleport you right away and you'll encounter a boss. These bosses will only come with a couple minions. I didn't really find them that hard besides the Cyclops because that thing's always a pain. But, you just want to dodge these guys, there's plenty of places to hide, you have three people just doing a lot of damage to him, and once you kill him, he'll drop some rewards, he won't drop a chest or anything, but he'll drop some gear for you, you'll get some candy, and then you head back to the infinite forest to go back in the portal and keep doing it. A little special reward you get from the first guy, or at least I got it from the first guy. I could have just been lucky. You get an emblem, a legendary emblem, which you can... I'm going to put up real quick, and it's actually a really cool emblem. So it's the Terra's End. It's obviously Halloween-themed. You can put it on. It looks pretty cool. It's just something bonus that you can get. You can also see what branch we're on. And every time you defeat a boss, you go up a branch. The difficulty becomes harder, but the rewards become more vast. And you want to watch out for this guy. At first, I didn't know he was invincible. I started shooting him. And once I realized, I just tried to get away from him. He'll come back many times. You can't kill him. He can kill you. Run away from him. <laughs> Don't get near him. He'll destroy you. So avoid that guy at all costs and just run away. So we're on to our next boss battle, and it's this giant mech. And the thing is, I don't know if it's in order every time if you'll get the same people in a row, but these typically, you'll get the... the <laughs> I don't know the right terms for this because I haven't played Destiny in a while, but you'll get the mechanical eye, you'll get this giant mech dude, you'll get the, the first boss we face, the Cyclops, and that's all we really fought throughout this thing, and it would sort of repeat itself, so... Those are the main guys you'll be fighting. They'll have their specific minions that will run at you. But overall, obviously it will increase with difficulty the further you go on. But the bosses aren't a huge pain. But it's obviously a boss fight, so you want to be careful. Also, if you're missing candy because of the teleports and you're not getting the weapons because of the teleports, obviously they get sent to the tower right away and you can just pick them up there from the, the mail person or whatever. And this is the eye I was talking about. I was by far the easiest. We melted that thing really quick. It's because it's hit or it's critical is massive. So just whack at it and you'll kill it in no time, I guess. You also want to keep in mind that there are doors or gate type things that when you open it will generate a new area for you to go to so if you don't know where to go obviously the objective marker will be on it so it's it won't be too difficult to find but that's where you want to head right to the gate and then you can open it that way and it will generate the next area and as you can see it repeated it actually skipped the cyclops so it didn't go to the cyclops it went to the first guy we faced and then i believe the next one's a cyclops so
So I'm just going to show you guys the gate again. You can see the objective marker. You just open it and it will generate. It's a pretty cool effect. And then you'll have more guys to kill. Obviously you want to reach 100%. That doesn't mean kill every enemy in the area. Obviously you want to kill as many as you can, but you can get... There will still be a lot of enemies remaining and you'll get 100% anyway. And then you have the Cyclops, which he's by far the tankiest. He takes the longest to kill. Um, he's also pretty dangerous, so you want to be careful. But with, with a good team and just using all your specials together, you should be fine. So this is when our timer ran out. And you can see that it says no respawning past this point. You, you, you can't respawn. So your whole if your whole team dies, you're out. And that's really important to understand. So you want to be careful past this point. And then here, I got wrecked by these guys. They got pretty difficult and they swarmed me. And then we all died. So here we go. Now, this is a little tricky. I mean, it's not tricky. I was just stupid. Don't run down the middle, okay? I jumped before it started sucking down, but you'll come across this thing again. And like before, it's immune to everything, it's invincible, you can't get back up. My teammates, however, went to the sides instead of the middle, like like I should have done. So go to the sides, make sure you stay away from the middle of the pit. They can gather the loot for me, like I got the loot, you'll see in a second. You get some, you complete a quest, you get another emblem or whatever. Um, and then if you got stuck the pit like I did, you can go back and grab from the messages. You can grab all the candy you missed, you can grab the weapon, and you can grab some chocolate, which you get from the chest. Anyway, that's all I have for the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Sub you not already sub, and turn the notification bell on if you want to see more of these Destiny videos or just any other game in general. Anyway guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.